angles in a triple ballpark, double in a big park. Well, I remember Callen Horn had to triple. The guy knocked himself out in center field. That's yeah. all the extra base hit we had that game. But <laughs> talking about this weekend, 45 runs for your ball club. I was talking to Philip Chapman. The, the team, after struggling a couple of weeks, going 3-7 and seven in a 10-game span, does it feel like uh, the team's got it back now? Well, those are those are confidence boost games is what they are. And they you know, they can go either way. You can try to get too big and try to get, especially with the wind blowing out, you can, you know, get in the air a little mm-hmm. bit. But, you know, you know, I challenge our guys to, to line more balls up, stay out of the air. And, and we hit a lot of balls, you know, line drive approach. And, and, uh, and that was good for you know a veteran team can understand that and, and I think they did this weekend. Well, you, you look at the box score again. You see, and you know, we talked about it yesterday. You had so many at bats. You see, sixteen flyouts, but you had so many more at bats than you usually have in a game. In a game like this, it's really hard not to get in the air because a lot of line drives. People think with the wind blowing out, it's going to blow everything out. But the wind behind something blowing away is going to cause it to lift, and you got a few flyouts that way. Got a few flyouts, and and. Uh, you know, one of the things we did pretty well is we it, it with we executed pretty good with runners in scoring position, and and uh, you know I thought Robbie's that was a big at bat for Robbie when after Chap hit the hit the triple to get him in right there, don't pass it to the next guy, and so we had a lot of team offense this weekend. Ethan executed a good hit and run today when the game was tied to jump start us again, and and uh, you know we got it we got to we continue got to put get, put guys in motion today. You're a little bit a little less likely to do it because the wind's blown out, but we picked and choose our times. Uh, Coach, uh, now uh, uh, back to 16 and 11. First time you put those back-to-back wins together since since mid-March. Now uh, you did it against Alcorn State. Uh, now you got to get back into the well, the, the teeth, the, the beast this week. You got uh, a ranked Ole Miss team coming in Tuesday night, and then Southern Miss, who is uh, one today. And after the win, they moved it to number three in the national RPI. They're probably going to be a top 15, if not a top 10 team. I know Kendall uh, Kendall Rogers set up the perfect game. Who's the big beat writer nationally? He says he expects them to make a huge jump in the polls. This is really a big week for this program. Very big, you know. And the opponents do jump up considerably. And what you do is you take what we did this weekend and let that build confidence, you know. And, and we we never have a problem uh, getting ready for Ole Miss. We mm-hmm. haven't we haven't executed in a few moments of those games, but uh, we got them down in AutoZone last year, and, and uh, a lot enough guys on the team can remember that. And and you know, hopefully, this what we did this weekend can carry over from the confidence standpoint. You can get a couple wins, or even take three out of four. This week, you're right back in the thick of things. Oh, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. And if we play offense like we did this week, we'll, we'll be in good shape. And you know, we continue to you know defend the field at a good clip. And and uh, not you know we not a lot of not a lot of uh, 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 strikeouts today. Not as many chances on the ground today, but overall a solid defensive day. All right, uh, Eric. Eric threw today, and after the tie, he ends up getting the win to go to two and two. So that's uh, kind of eliminates him probably from Tuesday night. Is, is Sam Ball going to be your starter Tuesday, or with, with Langfield getting some rest this weekend? I know he may pitch a, an inning or so. How are you going to go with it Tuesday against the Rebels? We're going to go with Sam, and then, then you know Langfield will probably be a factor for one inning stint in the bullpen, and then we'll see the pitch counts whether we you know what he does in a weekend. And, uh, he's continuing to. To get better and get rested and, and get him, we want to get him fresh for the stretch drive. Do you play him like you played Ryan Frazier last year in that game? You kind of rested him and you waited to a key moment to end the ball game. Are you going not, to not spend Langfield early, wait and see if there's a spot where we need a couple of outs if that game is tight on Tuesday? Absolutely. That, that'll be the plan. And I think you'll see a lot of guys. You know, Todd Farley continues to make a jump in that bullpen and has, has got a good feel going down there now. And he's going to be a big, you know, big factor with, with mm-hmm. Dane still out, with Dane Sharp still out. Somebody's got to carry the burden and carry the weight that he was carrying. How close are we getting to Hatfield back? He's getting close. Uh, stretched it out real good today, and and uh, and he's he's throwing pain free now. So mm-hmm. uh, you know he he could be back in the mix possibly by the next weekend. Well, it's going to be a tough week, but it should be a fun week. This is the week. This is one of the weeks you tell the guys this is why you come to to play college baseball. Absolutely, you know, and Southern Miss will bring a great club, like you said in here, and, and Coach Federico, you know, my former pitching coach, and they're playing with an awful lot of confidence now. The the positive thing is is we get them in our, at our mm-hmm. place, and and uh, that that. You know that always bodes well. We we've we've played okay at yeah. home, and, and we we'll hope you know we'll continue to do so. All right, coach. Well, as always, we appreciate it. We will uh, talk to you downtown uh, on Tuesday night. Thanks, Jeff.